Good morning. Um, we'll make a little <clears throat> fitness video. Um, so you guys, everybody knows I'm, I'm, I'm making here about videos here and there. Um, camping, boondocking, fitness over 50. Uh, this is going to be an interesting video because it's going to be about fitness. But um, the topic's not going to be about an exercise. It's not going to be about a method of weight loss. It's not going to be about a method of muscle gain. It's going to be about don't trust your scale. That's right. Do not trust your scale. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, some of you might or might not know I'm uh, studying to be a personal trainer. And my first subject, I should say my second subject, my first subject is me. Which I'd like to say I've been fairly successful with. Uh, I'm over 55 years old. I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, which I will share some photos with you, some videos, uh, actually doing exercise routines with you um, eventually. So I, I would say that my first subject of training is me. I've been doing it for a long time. A um, lot of failure, a lot of uh, discourage, discouraging uh, months, days, years. But overall, um, I feel like, you know, I've been successful training me, me training me. Um, I've also taken on and I won't say an apprentice, but uh, my first training, my second training subject will be my wife. Um, and God just made her beautiful, just like he already knew what he was doing when he made her. But um, through the years, uh, both of us have uh, had some um, some alcohol issues, uh, dependency issues with alcohol. And, you know, we've both been about over, it's been about a, a year and four months now without alcohol. Um, but that just does something to your body, man, that constant infusion of calories and alcohol and then eating a cheeseburger or something crazy to come off of it. It does something to your body. It just adds fat and just deteriorates you, it ages you. And uh, so we both have dealt with that. And um, with that, uh, she has put on a lot of extra weight, um, which looks beautiful on her, but she doesn't like it. So uh, we're, we're taking that off and uh, she's been very successful on it. But um, she, today she told me, she said, I'm gonna fast today because I don't like what the scale is saying. And my reply to her was, don't trust the scale, trust the process. Uh, I told her that to me, the scale to a uh, training program is like religion to Jesus. I know that sounds crazy, but it, a lot of times that all becomes a distraction from the from the, from the primary goal so think about that for a second but um so i told her ignore that scale trust the process if you if you've done your research if you've done your study if you're listening to your body um if you're being diligent if you're being honest um consistent Bring in um, consistency and intensity into your training program. Then, and, and you've studied that training program and you've done the research and you're following your numbers, your caloric numbers, you're eating the right foods, um, being realistic, then you will see that scale kind of move up and down sometimes. But, this is not a short-term lifestyle. This has to be a long-term lifestyle because 
Other than that, all you're doing is going up and down. Add the weight, take it off. Add the weight, take it off. So, yeah, you can you can do injections and you can do fasting and you can do all of this stuff that'll take weight off real fast. But what's it going to do for your life in the long term? So, as a long term goal, you have to trust the process. Um, come up with a solid plan, and then make a life make life changing um, uh, make some life changing decisions. And then stick to them. So uh, don't trust the scale. Trust the process. As you go through your day to day, you know, if you are on a training, if you don't have a uh, have a uh, a training plan and you want one, start doing the research. Find somebody on YouTube, for example, that has a physique that you aspire to. Realistic. Be realistic. I will never be Arnold. I will never be Kai Green. I will never be Sergio. Um, I will never be, you know, any of those dudes. But I will be the best me that I can be. And I, I'm, I'm cool with that. So uh, you work on that. And um, daily, every single day, you will have gains. Every single day you'll do better. Um, well, I shouldn't say every single day because you're going to go backwards sometimes. But that's what life is. It's all good. You get back on, you hit again. You go again. You do better. You learn from your mistakes. Just like in life, in the gym, you learn. Listen to your body. Get in the gym. Go to your basement. Do some push-ups. Walk around the block. Look in your refrigerator. Look in your cupboards. Uh, look inside yourself find that motivation and do it but as especially when you're first getting started don't don't focus on that scale that scale will distract you that scale will um it, it it'll it'll give you disappointment sometimes uh you'll see that that one pound going up two pounds going up a lot of time that's water weight a lot of time you just got to go to the bathroom <laughs> so don't don't trust that scale trust the process all right so just a little little something i wanted to share uh in a little short video today trust the process get out there do it do some research find somebody that you trust to give you information not for the purposes of making money not for the purposes of getting likes on YouTube, not for the purposes of, uh, you know, selling your product and making money off of you, but somebody that you could trust uh, that has been down this road, has had some failures and uh, came out on the other end with success. Find that person, um, look in the mirror, be honest with yourself, get off the couch, get to working. All right. All right. Have a good day.